Question number 13. A factory produces guava juice and watermelon juice. Due to limitation on production capacity, the factory can produce at most 180 packs of juice in a day. The number of packs of watermelon juice produced exceeds the number of packs of guava juice is less than 60 packs. So less than 60 packs. Okay. So first of all, before you even do anything, obviously they want us to form equation, right, with the inequality here. But we don't know which is x, which is y. We don't know guava juice is x or watermelon juice is x. We don't know. So we have to find out first. Okay, uh, the demand for the number of packs of watermelon juice is at least half of the number of packs of guava juice. Okay, in a day, the factory produces X packs of guava juice and Y packs of watermelon juice. So from here, X is the guava, Y is the watermelon. Okay, so now let's form our uh, inequality because that's what they say here, right? Three inequality. So that's the question. So the first sentence it says, the the factory can produce at most 180 packs of juice in a day. At most, so that means maximum 180, cannot be more. Okay, so at most is maximum. So that means x, okay, I'm going to write down here, x plus y, okay, should be less than or equal to 180. Because maximum 180 cannot exceed, okay. Now the second sentence Okay, second sentence it says the number of watermelon juice. So watermelon juice is what? Is y. Eh? So num the number of water number of packs of watermelon juice produced exceeds the number of uh, packs of guava juice is less than sixty. So that means we know that the watermelon juice number of watermelon juice. So y minus because you exceed right. So you minus the Guava juice, guava is x, okay, should be less than 60. Okay, so when you minus the two of them, you're finding the difference, right? So the difference is going to be less than 60. Okay, the last sentence, the demand for the number of packs of watermelon juice, so watermelon juice is what again? Is y again, is at least, at least means what? More than or equal to. Okay, at least, that means minimum, half of the number of packs of guava juice. So, guava juice is x. Okay, so we form three of our equation here. Okay, now next, question B. Using a scale of, so they asked you, they gave you the scale, 2cm, 20 packs, on both axes, construct and shade the region R, which satisfies all the above constraints. So, that means all these constraints, you have to... Um, sort of like uh, draw the line, uh, draw the graph, okay? So before we even draw the graph, first thing, we need our table because obviously this is these are all straight lines, right? So straight line, we go x, y. So we're going to do for all of this, x, y, x, y, okay? So the first one, okay, let's look at x plus y. So I always do like this, 0, 0, because it's easy. So when x is 0, y is 180. When y is 0, x is 180. Okay, so it's very easy. Next, same thing I want to do here. When x is 0, y is uh, 60. When y is 0, so x would be also 60, right? No, wait, it will be negative 60. So because it is negative 60, we cannot use 0. Oops, we cannot use 0 at the y part here. Why? Because if you use 0, then we will get negative value. This graph will always be all positive side. Okay, so we cannot use 0 here. If you use 0, you get negative 60. So we don't want that. So we have to change. Let's say we start with, um, you know what we can do? We can put 60 here. If I put x is 60, then y is 120, okay? We are going to use a different number because if I use 0 here, I will get negative 60. So negative 60, you can't plot on the graph, okay? So we're not going to use that. So we're going to use any random number. So I'm going to take 60 here, so I get 120. All right, the last one. So the last one, I can't put 0, 0 as well because you get the same answer. When x is 0, y is 0. So if I put y let's say half right 
half. So I can put here y50, x will become 100. Okay, so this will be my table. Now let's plot the graph. Alright, so I already plot the scale for you guys. So just make sure when you all plot your scale, you're following this. Uh, you're following this 2cm 20 packs. Okay, so that's what I did here. So when you do on your graph, please follow that scale. So now let's plot this together. So first one, 0, 180. So 0 is here, 180 is here. And then 180, 0. So this one is here. Okay, so you draw your line. Wait, uh, let me change color. Okay, so the line is going to be like this. Okay, this one is, remember the line is straight line, uh, not dash line because it is less than equal to. Okay, next we have 0, 060. So 0, 060 is here and 60, 120. So 60, 120 should be somewhere here. I think it's on the line here. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna draw again the line. So now this one, by the way, is a is less than. So it's gonna be a dash line. Okay. So when you draw, make sure you use dash line. Huh? Okay. I'm just gonna roughly draw here because I don't have a dash line with me. Okay. Next, we have zero zero. Okay. Zero zero is at the origin, and hundred hundred and fifty. Where is? Eh, sorry, hundred and fifty. So fifty is somewhere here. Okay, roughly lah. Okay, it's just a rough. So this one is also a straight line. Yeah. Okay. So wait, before that, let me just label each of them. Huh? So this will be x plus y equals 180. This will be y minus x equals 60. And this will be y equals, uh, right here, y equals 1 over 2x. Okay. Now, where are we going to shade? So this one, it says less than, okay, less than means below. So everything below this, that means below this line, lah, okay. Next, this one is also less than. So this line, below it, so it's also down here. And then this is more than, so more than means above this line. So the overlap is here. Okay, this is the overlap. So this is the region R. Okay, let me label region R. Okay, now let's solve the next one. State the maximum number of packs of guava juice. So guava juice is guava juice is x, right? The x value. Yeah, x value, x packs of guava juice. So x represents the guava juice. So the maximum should be here. Lah. Here's the maximum. So okay, my my graph here is not exact, not accurate. But it's supposed to be 120. Okay, that's what I got initially. So let me write here. Question was this. C1. C1. So the number of, uh, sorry, X maximum will be. Maximum X uh, is 120 packs. Okay. Second. So now the question is saying that. Due to an increase in the price of guava on a particular day, each pack of guava juice causes a loss. Okay, so every time you sell one guava, guava juice, you are losing 5 ringgit 50 cents. Okay, the profit for each pack of watermelon. So watermelon, you're still profiting. So you're profiting 40 ringgit for each pack. If the factory has produced 80 packs of watermelon juice, so watermelon juice is the Y value, huh? calculate the maximum profit. So they want maximum profit. So let's see. Huh? They said that um, they produce 80 packs of watermelon juice. So the Y value is 80. Y value is 80. So here is 80. So the answer can be in this range. Okay, it can be in this range. So they said calculate the maximum profit. So if I want maximum profit, should I get more guava juice or less guava juice? Is it more or less? If you say more, then your answer is wrong. Because the more guava juice they sell, the more loss they make. Because every guava juice is going to be 
losing money, right? You are losing 550. So the less, the least amount of guava juice you can sell, the better. Because you're losing money for each. Okay? So we are not going to take the maximum. We are going to take the minimum. So you're supposed to draw here to find what is the minimum number of guava juice you can sell. Because if you want maximum profit, you must reduce the amount of loss, right? So the answer here, what I got from my um, graph is I got, okay, why we know is 80, okay? The guava, uh, sorry, watermelon juice is 80. So the X, I'm, I have 21, okay? I cannot take this point here because this is a dash line, right? So I supposed to take like slightly next to the the dash line, okay? Don't take on the dash line, huh? So slightly be, uh, next to it, then you go down, you see here is 21. So that means I'm going to sell 21 packs of um, guava juice and 80 packs of watermelon. So let's calculate that. So 21, so maximum profit, huh? max profit equals to, so we got um, 21 packs of guava juice. So each of them, you're going to lose 550. And then you plus um, 80 packs of uh, watermelon juice. And each of them going to profit 40. Okay. So here you should get negative 115.50. And then the profit is 3,200. So the maximum profit you will get is 3,084.50. This is your answer.